Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back. We're back, back in Elden Ring, and like I said, I got a few things planned for this particular episode, so we're gonna get right on torrent and get right on riding along to our next objective. I have two or three dungeons I would like to I'd like to get accomplished. Uh, well, I'm gonna say I'm gonna save the best for last, honestly. Uh, let me start my timer. But I'm gonna say I'm gonna save the best dungeon for last. Uh, assuming the other two don't take too long. So we're gonna start off with our first catacomb dungeon. There's a bunch of these around. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna see what the fuck is cracking. The main enemies in these are imps, and they're annoying and stupid, and I hate them, but. I mean, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Also, uh, these are your upgrade materials. Smithing stones and somber smithing stones. Somber smithing stones seem to function, for all intents and purposes, kind of like uh, Twinkling Titanite. Uh, those grave glove words, you definitely want those for later on. I hear you. You know, I just clowned a whole boss, and I'm about to be made into a clown by imps. These guys' movesets very much re remind me of uh, the little thief dudes from Dark Souls 3. The little thralls, or whatever. Alright, so one of them's down. And there goes the other one. They're a little bit of a pain in the butt. Acquire materials. Um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, made it through. A lot of these uh, catacombs tend to have like little uh, puzzles and challenges and such. And then over here you've got this guy kind of being a bitch. See what's irritating is like it's hard to bait them to come to you. Oh my god, with the throwing knives, can you just... See, look at him. He doesn't want to come over here because he's a bitch. Jesus. We're actually going to go ahead and switch over to this one. The Wandering Noble's Summon is one of my favorite things in this game. Okay, alright, get rid of him. Pull this, this opens up the door. Now, I will say, there was something past the other fire, and I'm curious what it was. You see it over there.
course there's an imp over there. Wow. Wow, I no longer care. I do not care what is back there. Nothing is worth that. That's, wow. Those souls are gone, I'm sorry. I know it's early in the game and that's kind of a lot for this point. That was a level up, but I do not care enough. I do not feel like getting ganked like that. Maybe I'll come back on a stronger character. Oh yeah, item crafting. This is your multiplayer item. This allows you to summon. You use, you, you set it to your thing, whatever thing is most convenient for you. I like, I, I really like this pouch down on the pouch for it and we'll we'll see if we can summon somebody it doesn't really matter who uh but this opens up the visibility of summon signs and lets you get some it lets you summon people it's not how you put your sign down obviously but still that said um let's see if they communicate with me dark storm Well, whatever. You're you're not AFK at least. All right. So here here's the little area boss. I don't like this boss. The reason I don't like him is because of how fucking fast his attack swings actually are. Oh. Oh, come on. Stop using stupid attacks. You do not want to get hit by that this early in the game. That's a boss down. Alrighty. He gave less souls than we dropped in that room. I don't care. Whatever. We're going to do another dungeon. That's right. That's right. There's another dungeon to do. We'll warp to the Church of Ella. This is like I, I spent. I think I've spent more time at the Church of Ella than any other individual place in this game. You know, there's just something really special about the Church of Ella, 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 A, 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 A. So I believe it's to the west. It is to the west. You you can see it from here. There's an island off in the distance. It's a nice little place. There's not a whole lot that happens there, and there's really, really not a whole lot related to this character there either. But we're still gonna go. But like, you might be wondering, you might have seen it, been down here, and been like, "Well, how the hell? I can't swim." Well, you know, you drop down here. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure you figured that out already. Drop down here. You got a, you got a nice little merchant boy over here. Look at him. Oh, there's no trouble for you, mate. All right, Firebone Arrow and neutralizing bolluses is the main thing. So we're gonna buy that. All righty. So, okay, so looking, you can see a cave there. Looking, you can see a cave here. Let's make a big brain move and go through this cave. 
Now, it really helps to have some sort of torch or source of light, but you can't two-hand your axe with a torch. That said, there's this neat little lantern you can get that hooks up to your belt side and keeps your hands free. It's like 1,800 souls. I've seen it sold in, in one or two, by one or two different merchants. Ow, ow, ow. Shit. How many of you are there? Jesus. We're gonna summon this guy. Old Knight is fun. I don't actually know how well we're gonna do down here. Uh, but at least it's lit. I like almost went into the boss room wholeheartedly too. Ooh, shiny. Now watch out, like most daggers in Dark Souls games, these guys' daggers, they absolutely build bleed, as you can see. Between the two of them is not where you want to be. Randomly backstab that guy, I guess. I don't have any more S's flies, so. A good way to avoid an attack every so often just might be a fucking backstab. I think this might be it. That's it. And the rest of them will cower. But this gives you access to the tailoring to tools and sewing needle. Cower! Fear me! I am out of healing items. And there's more of them. But that's okay. So you can come here and go back to the start, but why would you want to do that when you could just, you know... I can't see, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep mashing the lock on button. They're very close here. And I still cannot see a good goddamn thing. <gasps> the light at the end of the tunnel. Would you look at that? We're on the other side. We're on the island. Hell yeah. 
Hail ye. Yeah. Like I said, there's not a whole lot going on up here. There's a bunch of wildlife for whatever reason. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> oh, he's my favorite. Oh, man. I love them. I love them so much. Gonna go ahead and rest, because we've got one more dungeon that I'd like to do. It's very short, but getting to it is is not the easiest thing. But yeah, uh, right here. Examine altar, ritual of dragon communion. This is where you gain access to some pretty neat dragon-related stuff. I haven't used any of it. I don't have a character that can't. I'd like to build a character around Dragon Communion. I feel like that would be really cool. But we'll see. Anyway, it takes Dragon Hearts to uh, obtain those spells. And I would imagine I don't need to explain to you how you would obtain a Dragon Heart. Generally speaking, you would obtain a dragon heart from a dragon, though. In case I do need to explain it. A heart from these dragonflies that, that harass you will not count. It's not enough of a dragon heart. Get you some fire grease. We're going to disregard these skeletons. Skeletons function a little differently than they did in Dark Souls, which is nice. I guess it's also kind of nice that the catacombs aren't just Skeleton City. Because the skeletons are actually kind of kind of rough to fight in this particular game. And would you look at that. This is an NPC invader. Look at him attacking the air over there. You keep it up, because there's going to be an NPC that comes to help us. There's literally no way I can beat him by myself right now with this character how he is. I can certainly try, though. It's not so much his, his outright damage, which is good. His outright damage is, is, is rough. It's that. It's fucking that. Ah! Just immediate rage the second he fucking spams that garbage. It's the stupidest fucking thing. And, like, it's at a slight upward arc. So, like, it, it's really fucking good at catching you midair if you're trying to do jump attacks. And the tracking in this game is phenomenal, so, like, I feel like fighting him is going to be where this episode ends. So we're going to start the episode with the next episode with the dungeon I'm talking about. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm going to get mad, though, if he keeps killing me. Because it's like, on one hand, it's really nice that that uh, Finger Hunter Yura shows up he's a really nice guy really big dick energy and I don't know if you noticed but I try I was trying to actually lure uh Nerajib or whatever over towards where you're a spawns to minimize the amount of time I have to wait for his bitch ass to get to me and help me out because he makes pretty quick work of Nerajus Oh, see, now this time, he's not even letting me bu buying me the time of just randomly swinging about. But yeah, Yura spawns over by the fucking Skelly Boys. I 
I hate the tracking. I hate the tracking. Come on, Yura. Hell yeah. Fuck him up. Bitch, eat it, bitch. We got his ass. We got his ass. You can just roll forever because stamina doesn't go down out of battle. It's great. 10 out of 10. Best game. Between that and having access to the to the mighty waifu of Kenneth Haight, oh man. Just stroke me, Daddy Kenneth. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's an episode. I'll see you on the next one. Farewell.